Bona locale, my garden of roses. If you've even looked at a television screen that happens to be playing the news in the last 16 months, you're aware that Robert Mueller has been on an investigation, a war path, to discover if there was any collusion between Trump and some mysterious amalgam of individuals known as the Russians. And as of this weekend, we have Mueller's indictments against a number of Russians, except it has nothing to do with Trump. My problem is, what we're seeing doesn't amount to anything that it's been set up to be. After 16 months of hearing nothing about Trump, Russia, possible collusion, we have been left with charges against 13 individuals and three corporations, uh, headlining with Evgeny, uh, shit, how does that name go again? Yevgeny Viktorovich Prigozhin and Concord Management and Consulting, LLC. Companies that had menial budgets at best and accomplished what really amounts to trolling and little more. While yes, in the indictment, it is possible to find uh, lists of bank accounts and other identity fraud uh, information that was stolen and used to set up PayPal accounts, that amounts to all of three or four of the last pages of the indictment. And 33 pages are dedicated specifically to how they trolled the American people, not even the election, but the American people. Let me explain. So, this group, Internet Research Agency LLC, funded by Concord Management and Consulting LLC, is a Russian company that has about as strong connections to the Kremlin as McDonald's does to the White House. And I'm saying that quite literally, uh, Concord Catering, a, uh, a sub-company a sub of Concord Management, has served dinner for the Kremlin on a number of occasions. And they decided back in 2013 to see how much chaos they could create, not unlike 4chan, by setting up, uh, well, events on Facebook calling for people to come out and protest uh, for Black Lives Matter, for uh, women's rights, seeing what they could get Americans to do from across the world. That sounds a lot more heinous than it actually is because this is something that 4chan does all the damn time. And as we get into the information that came out about 2016 in this indictment, we realize that they were playing both sides of the coin, not just, you know, supporting Trump. In fact, they created a number of anti-Trump protests and Black Lives Matter protests in 2015 with extremely low turnouts that were just pathetic in, you know, the grand scheme of things, considering the scale of which we have seen uh, trolls push people to protest in real life across the last few years. And then we have the accusations of buying advertisements on Facebook, which, again, not only did they support Trump, but they were also against Trump. And I'm left curious, just what are we actually looking at here? Because as far as I can tell, it's a whole lot of fucking nothing. Absolutely fucking nothing, but a little bit of identity fraud being charged by the highest courts in the nation, padded with the accusation that by trolling and committing a tiny amount of identity fraud, they were able to somehow move the elections, which I just don't see the evidence for in these indictments. However, after 16 months of investigations by the Mueller probe, you have to wonder, I mean, he had to put something out there, right? He had to produce something 
But what he's produced is so empty of context. And worse still, it none of it is new. All of this had been reported on in the Ukraine and Russia by Radio Free Europe, as well as the Russian business, uh, a Russian business magazine, RBC, that explained in detail and named literally every name on the uh, indictment, which makes me wonder just what has Mueller been doing with our time, let alone the $38 million of American taxpayer dollars that is paid for this investigation. It's, it's honestly quite pathetic, if you ask me. It's, it's, it does nothing for us. It does not clear up any problems. And if anything, it exposes that the American people, so ready to jump to partisan and politically motivated and morally motivated protestations, can be manipulated by any source that wants to whether it be 4chan or Russia or China or, as T Trump put it in his tweets, a 400-pound kid on his bed with a computer. And worse still, we're accusing, you know, we're saying the Russians, the Russians did it. This, this euphemism has gotten so far out of control that I can't help but think that we are actually in the days of a new form of McCarthyism in which we are going to throw all the blame on Russians as much as we can, instead of taking responsibility for the fact that we, as Americans, were manipulated by people, trolls, who just wanted to see how much chaos they could create. They had no interest in actually changing the elections. They just wanted to see what they could influence and learned that they could influence a lot more than they originally set out to do. They didn't have any one specific goal. Their interest wasn't to get Donald Trump elected to president. Much to the contrary, they just wanted to see what they could accomplish by going out and creating Facebook events in New York, Facebook events in, Sh in Charlottesville, believe it or not. Go read the indictment. It's there. I bet you a number of people who were in Charlottesville were invited because of a post on Facebook that was put up there by Russians. And the longer this goes on, the more I have to ask myself, how fucked are we as a nation if 4chan or a Russian company with approximately $2 million in their pocket or a Chinese company with $100,000 for a university can actually destabilize us. Because they're not the ones who destabilized our nation. We are. Any American who fell for this shit, whether it be the protesters who, who gathered in numbers counting 14 to 20 for these Facebook events produced by these Russians, by these people who were working for uh, Internet Research Agency, LLC, and Yevgeny uh, uh, Prozovich, uh, fuck, again, fucking up his name, Prigozhin, excuse me. If these people are so willing to jump at the opportunity the first time they, the first moment they see a Facebook post, the problem isn't Russia. Russia didn't keep Hillary from campaigning in Wisconsin. Russia didn't make Hillary use a personal email server, which is against the rules of national security. Russia didn't hire Fusion GPS. Russia didn't pay Christopher Steele. In fact, Christopher Steele paid Russians. Russia didn't make the dossier, and Russia didn't force the State Department or the Ju Department of Justice or the F uh, FISA courts uh, move forward on false information. Russia didn't lie to the FISA courts and the DOJ. Russia didn't leak the information about Mike Flynn. Russia didn't, didn't spy on Americans using the FISA courts. Russia didn't hire Nellie Orr, 
Russia didn't uh, use partisan funds from the DNC to pay for this in for an investigation that has blown grandly out of proportion. No, that was the American people. That was the American government. And what we have now is a shit show where everyone's trying to throw blame off themselves. Well, how about this? I'm going to start by taking some fucking blame. I've worked very hard to try and explain the nuance of Russians. And in the process, I've probably sounded like I've been defending Russians quite a lot. In fact, I have defended Russians quite a lot. And while I will not deny that any evidence of Kremlin influence over Internet Research Agency, LLC, has yet to be proven, I have done my part in distracting from the fact that there are Russian citizens, free Russian citizens, who have every ability to manipulate American people. Because, let's face it, on the left and the right, there are some very stupid people who will jump at the opportunity to go to an event and hold their fist up high and zig heel and cry out Black Lives Matter, no matter who created that event or why. This is a far bigger problem than the possibility of Russia influencing the 2016 elections. The problem is anyone can influence any election. Whether they're Americans, Russians, Chinese, Pakistani, Indians, it doesn't fucking matter. We are all so gullible as Americans at this point that we will bite at any hook put in front of us asking us to get angry. There's a reason I take my time with these videos and sometimes just don't produce them. I don't want to be angry, I want to be well informed. And if you aren't taking the time to be well informed, then the Russian collusion isn't the Russians' fault. It's yours. Thank you for listening, and I'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.